everybody, welcome to Freedom Culture. So tonight we are taking a little break from our Holy Spirit unit and we are going to just spend a week talking about grateful hearts and why we should always find a reason to be grateful and to be thankful. And what a perfect week to do it right before Thanksgiving. So it's gonna be awesome. But first, make sure you have your Bibles, your prayer journals, and let's go ahead and open up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful season that's coming up, Father. And even though there's been so much going on in our world and we know that there's a lot going on in our hearts because of that, we know that you are still in control, that you are still good, you are still God, and we can trust you and rest in you. So we pray tonight, Father, that all of these kids find rest in you and find peace in this message, Lord. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so next up we have an object lesson and then we have praise and worship and a special message from Mr. Amon. It's going to be great. Hi, everybody. Tonight we are doing something really special as we're taking a special break to talk about Thanksgiving. We are going to be doing a little bit of a craft tonight and it's going to be really cool. And don't worry if you don't have a ton of craft supplies at home. This is a pretty easy craft and you can almost do it with just about any paper and scissors and tape. Or if you don't have tape, you can use glue and a marker. Pretty easy and a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, which you should, but you can always ask mom and dad if you can use their phone and look up the scripture that way too. So it's gonna be great. So what we're going to do tonight is we are going to make a thankful garland. Now I love garlands. I love decorating for fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. And so what we're doing tonight is we're making a garland and we're gonna take strips of paper, okay? And I just happen to have some pretty fall colors, but it's okay if you don't. You can use whatever paper you have. It can be plain white paper and that's fine too. Whatever you have laying around. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut several strips of paper, okay? And I want several different colors. So make sure you have parents' permission before you get out scissors and let's start. Now I have several strips here. And what I'm gonna do is we're going to take Psalm 150 verse six, okay? That very last part of Psalm 150. So it says in Psalm 51, Psalm 156, it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So this verse is kind of the spirit of Thanksgiving that we should be taking time during this season to thank the Lord for all he's done for us and to praise him for those works that he's done in our lives. So what we're going to do is we are going to take some of these strips and we are going to write one word of verse six on each of these. So for instance, the first word is let. So on one strip, I'm going to write let, okay? And then the next word will be everything. Everything. See, you get the idea. Okay, so then we're gonna write them all out. So I'm gonna take a second to do that. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to flip them over to the blank side. And now that we've written out that verse as a reminder that we should be thankful to God and praise him through everything, we are going to think of things in our personal life that we have to be grateful for. So this could be things like our home, right? We should be very grateful to have a home. Uh, we can be grateful that we have friends. You know, maybe you write a specific friend's name on one of the pieces of paper. You could be grateful for your dog, grateful for books, grateful for bubble baths, video games, whatever it is, for your family, your parents, whatever it is. I want you to go ahead and take time to write one thing on each sheet on the back side that you can be grateful for. So I'm gonna take a second to do that too. So we're gonna take our first strip, okay? That's let, okay? And we're gonna take a piece of tape or you can use glue, but I think that, you know, tape is a little faster 
and easier to use if you have it, but glue works fine too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a circle with mine. And I'm gonna make sure that there's tape on one side and I'm gonna bring that piece of tape over to secure it. So yeah, secure it like that. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the next strip that has let everything, okay? And we're gonna take this circle and I'm gonna loop it with that one, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. You get the idea, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to do it in order of the verse, okay? But if not, it's not a huge deal, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a minute to do that, okay? All right, so there we have it. This is our thankful garland, okay? And the cool thing about this is you can make it as long and as big as you want. You can get up some more special. If you have a baby in the house like me, make sure it's up high where they can't reach it and tear it apart. But that is it. And this is just a reminder that we have always reason to be thankful and to praise the Lord. And if you need more proof than the verse, look at all the wonderful things you wrote out on the chains. And I can encourage you just to make it as long as you possibly can, just thanking God for every single thing you can think of in your life. And you will be amazed at just how much there is to be thankful for. I love you guys. Coming up next, we have worship.
Thank you, Lord, for the way that you love and the way that you come for all that you've done and all that you're doing. My heart pulls out Thank you You don't have to come
guys, it's Mr. Iman here. I'm excited to be here for another week to teach you guys. And I thought because it's Thanksgiving coming up that it would be important to talk to you today about being thankful and the importance of being thankful um, during this time. So I started to think about this more lately because my wife, Jean, tried something new with our daughter, Nisi. And Nisi, like most four-year-olds, gets, sometimes gets into these, what I call, I want modes. And she'll say, I wanted this toy, I want to do that, I want to go here. And usually it'll be in that lovely, whiny voice. And so Jean has started to look at her and say, I'm sorry, Nisi, I don't understand you. I don't speak Wynese. Can you try that again? And so Nisi will try again in her normal voice. And usually it would be something that's kind of unrealistic to ask for right at that time or just not a good time to ask for it. And so Jean will say, hmm, Nisi, it sounds like I hear a lot of I want this and I want that. Uh, whenever we think about something that we want that we don't have, why don't we stop and think about something that we're thankful for that we do have? Can you think of something you're thankful for? So at first when I heard this, Gene try this, I thought, yeah, right, this isn't going to work. Good luck. But when I started to see that Nisi would actually stop and try and at least think of something she's thankful for, I began to realize how important it is, not just for my kids to think about being thankful or what they're thankful for, but for me and for all of us to stop, take a few minutes every day if we can, and think about what we're thankful for. You know, I think this is what the phrase have an attitude of gratitude means. And I actually looked this up, and the best definition I found was that an attitude of gratitude means making a habit of expressing thankfulness and appreciation in all parts of your life on a regular basis for both big and small things alike. You know, it's easy to be thankful for big things. Uh, you, you get a, an awesome test or you graduate to the next grade or you get something you really wanted. Um, but what about for small things? Uh, what about for having the friends that God's put in your life or your parents or your health or uh, You know that you have a roof over your head the house that you live in or the, the fact that your parents work and provide for you uh, You know, there's so many small things in our lives that sometimes we kind of it's called taking it for granted where we don't really think about it It's just we just kind of think that that will always be there that we should always have those things but I don't know about you, but lately with the coronavirus, I started to think about all these small things that I once had, were able to do, that I can't do anymore. At least maybe going to the grocery store without a mask, or going out to eat, or seeing our, my friends, or even going to church. You know, now we're watching through the, uh, through the internet. These are a lot of these small things that we, I, I used to do, now we can't do them. And, I don't think that we'll, we won't, I'll never get to do them again. It's just, I know that right now I don't have them. And so that's taught me to remember about those small things. I think it's important for all of us to think about those small things. Um, you know, someone once said, if you, if you focus on what you have, you'll always have more. But if you focus on what you don't have, you always think about, well, I don't have this, I want this, then you'll never have enough. And I think it's a really important thing to remember when we're thinking about uh, what we're thankful for not just for the big things, but the small things too. You know, I also think it's important uh, or it's easy to be thankful When things are going great for you when you're happy when times are just really easy and nice and um, Fun, but what about during bad times or hard times or challenging times? Is it easy? Or can we also try and be thankful during those times? Well, the Bible tells us that we should be thankful at all times, not just good and bad. And it gives us the reason why. And it basically says that God is good always, okay? And that we should be thankful uh, no matter the circumstances, no matter what life throws at us, that we should always be thankful for God. And if you've been paying attention about what we've been talking about uh, up until now, is that God's given us everything that we need to live a godly life, both by knowing Him, Okay, and 
more importantly, because he sent Jesus uh, into this world to die for us and he saves us through Jesus, um, that we wouldn't have, that we could have eternal life, the promise of eternal life. Um, and by doing that, he gives us also the Holy Spirit to be with us and to know him and to live for him. So he's given us the best gift that he can give us. And so we should definitely be thankful um, at all times, not just during the good times. Um, and, you know, we can look at the Bible and see uh, how to be thankful. And one person I can point to that we can learn from is David. Right? In the book of Psalms, David shows us how thankful he was towards God, you know, writing about praising God and being thankful. Um, and it's not just during the good times. It's also during real hard times for David, when people were even trying to kill David. So how was he able to do that? Well, you know, David's, David's thankfulness was not just uh, based on uh, God giving him great gifts and giving him awesome blessings. But it was based upon his faith in God, right? David remembers, was able to remind himself about all the past victories where God has taken him out uh, of hard situations and real life struggles and bring him out of the, those times. And that he was able, all those small victories in life. So David reminded himself of God's faithfulness and that, that's what helps him to be thankful in his current circumstances and what he's going through today. And I think it's important for me and you to also be, to remind ourselves about what is, what, how God has um, brought us to where we're at today. Um, all the things that God's done for us. Uh, you know, the, in, in the New Testament, Peter tells us that we should be thankful in, during grief, hard times, um, when we're not so happy, maybe when we're sad also, and during different challenges that we face, because during those hardships, our faith will be proven to be genuine. Our faith will prove to be real, okay? Not to be uh, tossed and turned or swayed this way and that way with the different ups and downs in life, okay? That we will constantly have faith, that we will constantly be thankful towards God in all situations in our life. Um, so, guys, I want to leave you with that and just remind you that when we're thankful, our focus moves off of selfish desires and off of the pain of current circumstances. When we're thankful and we express that attitude of gratitude, uh, we will learn to be content, to be satisfied in a variety of different circumstances that life throws at us. Um, and it will remind us that we're, we can only control so much, okay? That we should be bit focused on the bigger picture in life, and that is that God has given us Jesus, and God has given us um, uh, salvation through Jesus, and He's given us the Holy Spirit to live a godly life. And so I encourage you this year, guys, don't just make this a once year thought. Have an attitude of gratitude. And guys, have an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, I'm thankful for you guys. I love you guys. Um, and we'll be seeing you in two weeks. Bye, guys. All right, everybody. That's a wrap for week nine of Freedom Culture. And next week, we're going to be taking a week off for Thanksgiving to give you a break, to give parents a break so there's nothing else to keep up with. That will be really nice. And then we will see you back in two weeks as we finish up our unit for Holy Spirit. We can't wait to see you back. We hope you have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. And remember to always be thankful. Love you guys.